What's up, everyone? The Titans were dominated on Sunday by the Browns, 27-3 final score. One of the big reasons for that was Miles Garrett taking over the game. So today I'm going to break down some Miles Garrett film from this game and show how he was able to just destroy the Titans almost single-handedly. So we'll start here with the first third down of the game. Titans get it to third and three, pretty manageable. They open the game with a bootleg throw to Traylon Burks, who picked up five yards, bootlegging away from Garrett. And then they run away from Garrett on the second play to pick up two yards. So here's third and three. Tannehill looking for a quick pass to Hopkins, sails it over his head. Let's take a look at how Miles Garrett disrupted this play. So Garrett's on the outside here, wide nine alignment. Andre Dillard's tasked with blocking him. Tajay Spears is here. You'd think maybe he could throw a chip block or something to help out his left tackle. Instead, Tajay Spears is looking for someone to pick up on this area. Nobody comes free through the middle. So instead of helping out the left tackle, Spears goes inside. And Miles Garrett just hits Andre Dillard with a bull rush here, pushing him straight back into Tannehill's lap. Right as Tannehill's getting ready to throw the ball, bang, his offensive lineman hits him, collides into him, forces a high throw to an open DeAndre Hopkins. He's got a yard or two of separation at the first down marker. Would have been a conversion here had Miles Garrett not gotten into Tannehill's lap. I mean, this is just how you wreck a game. Miles Garrett forcing a fourth down on the Titans' first possession. One more time from the opposite end zone. See Garrett just push Dillard right back into Tannehill, knocking him over, throw sails high. Again, if Spears is chipping or if Dillard can hold his ground for just a second longer, Tannehill would have a completion outside to Hopkins, but instead, it's fourth down. Okay, the next play we're going to look at happened right after Sean Murphy Bunting stripped the ball and recovered it, took it down to the Browns 17-yard line. Titans here in the red zone, going to try to run it with Derrick Henry, but Miles Garrett is not having any of that. Takes Henry down in the backfield for a loss, meeting him almost immediately as he takes the handoff. There's nowhere for Henry to go. So let's take a look at what went wrong for the Titans here. We got Miles Garrett, wide nine alignment, same thing we saw on the last play. Anthony Walker Jr. right next to him here. But what we're going to see is Garrett and Walker switch gaps right before the snap. That's going to throw things off for this Titans offense. The worst part is this play could have worked. You got Dillard and Raiden's double teaming here. Brewer's going to help initially and then look to pick off this linebacker. Brunskill is going to kick out this defensive tackle. And Henry's going to have a, a semi-open lane through the A-gap here. So watch this here. Garrett and Walker right there are communicating. Garrett's telling him what he's going to do here, how he's going to blow up this play. He's like, I got you. All right, go ahead, slide inside. Garrett's ready to come inside here. Wesco just cannot make this block. Too much speed off the line, too much power from Garrett. Gets in the backfield. And here we can see... The lane that Henry would have had. Watch Brewer here as he peels off and is ready to pick off the linebacker. Henry would have been able to run right off Brewer's hip through this gap. Could have been a touchdown if he makes the safety miss. Again, watch Brewer. There goes Brewer. He's ready to make that block. But by the time he has him, Garrett has Henry fully wrapped up and taking him down in the backfield. Because of Garrett, this play never stood a chance. It's otherwise well blocked. Again, a potential touchdown there if Henry can make one man miss. That's safety number one. But it never gets that far as Garrett takes Henry down immediately. Let's look at the play right after that. So now the Titans are in second and 13, fully aware of Garrett's game wrecking potential. They're going to try to run a screen away from Garrett's side of the field. We're going to look at this one from the all 22 view so we can see what Tannehill's doing. So Tannehill's initially going to look downfield here at this route by Nick Westbrook Aquina, trying to draw the defense over and clear some space for the Henry screen underneath. So there's Tannehill looking left. You can see the safety is all over that. He's moving this direction. We got a blocker here, blocker here. One man that Henry will have to beat. Again, this play could have worked. Look at how much space Henry has. He's about to catch the ball. He's going to be able to take this around the outside. And again, potential touchdown schemed up here by the Titans offense. But here comes Miles Garrett against Andre Dillard again. Gets to Tannehill and knocks the ball out of his hand as he's throwing it. That is a forced fumble, and this play goes nowhere. Henry able to dive on the ball. Let's take a look at it from the end zone angle so we can see exactly how Garrett disrupts this play. Josh Wiley goes in motion, trying to get blockers on that side of the field for the Henry screen. 
Here's Garrett, again in a wide nine alignment against Andre Dillard. And it's going to be a similar play to what we saw on that first third down. Garrett's just going to bull through Andre Dillard, get his hand up, and hit the ball out of Tannehill's hand. It's not exactly the same pass rush. We see a little bit more of a shoulder dip here. There's the hand fighting from Garrett knocking Dillard's arm down, bending that shoulder, and then reaching out with the outside arm. Bang. Fumble. Play disrupted. And now, once again, it's third and long. All right, we're going to jump ahead a bit here. We got another third and three for the Titans. We're midway through the second quarter now. Titans have a potential conversion on this play, but Miles Garrett, the disruptor, ruins things once again. So Tannehill is able to get outside the pocket here, find Traylon Burtz on the crossing route, throw it to him right at the sticks. It's close. It may not be a conversion, but it's it's close enough that it would be fourth and inches at worst on this play. Tannehill, again, able to get outside the pocket. Here's Traylon Burks in the scramble drill, running with Tannehill, getting himself open, creating separation. Tannehill sees him, throws it to him. He's got it just at the sticks, maybe a tiny bit behind. So why did this play not stand? Well, once again, it's Miles Garrett. So here's Garrett again in that wide nine alignment. Once again, matched up with Andre Dillard. And again, Dillard simply can't hold his ground against Miles Garrett's strength. That bull rush pushes Dillard back. Tannehill senses the pressure. Potentially could have stepped up in this pocket, but wanting to get away from such a ferocious pass rush, he decides to escape and then bang right there. You got Andre Dillard holding Miles Garrett. And that hold is going to bring this play back and force another third and long. There's the hold. He's got him by the jersey, got him by the chest plate of his pads. And without that hold, this is probably another sack. But instead, it's just a, a loss of 10 yards as Burks runs out of bounds just shy, I think, of that first down marker. All right, let's jump ahead again here. Last play of the first half. The Titans finally are able to move the ball. They get all the way down the field in the two-minute drill. 13 seconds on the clock from the 11-yard line. No timeouts. The one thing you cannot do on this play is take a sack. So here's the play from the All-22. Garrett gets to Tannehill almost immediately and takes him down. He's not alone. There's multiple Browns there getting to Tannehill before he has a chance to get the pass off. Here's Garrett again in that wide nine alignment. Andre Dillard's going to be one-on-one -on -one to protect him once again. Tajay Spears is here. No chip. Titans do nothing to try to slow Garrett down here so they can get this pass off. With everyone knowing that you cannot take a sack here with no timeouts on third down, so you can't even get to the line quickly and spike the ball if you do get sacked, this has to be a throw to the end zone so that you have a chance to attempt a field goal. But this was the fastest recorded sack so far of the 2023 season, according to Next Gen Stats. Garrett just gets around Dillard, bends the corner, uses his power and his speed, and sacks Tannehill. I mean... You can't play it any better than this if you're Miles Garrett and uh, Andre Dillard doesn't get enough depth in his initial set and then opens his left shoulder, can't force Garrett around the arc. Tannehill could step up here, doesn't, and therefore it is a sack, ending the half. Titans come away from their only good drive of the game with zero points. One more time from the back angle. Again, I have to question why Tajay Spears is not helping out with Miles Garrett, who this is the end of the first half. Garrett's already had four or five game wrecking plays. But instead of helping out the left tackle here, the Titans leave him on an island, put Spears into a route, and Tannehill, again, he could step up here and maybe get a throw out, but instead he sits there, statuesque in the pocket, and lets Garrett take him down. Okay, we're going to look at one last play here, early fourth quarter, but before we get to it, Let's look at what happens right before that final play we're going to look at. Here's Garrett. Now Garrett's going to go back and forth across the formation here, and the Titans are going to have two tight ends following Garrett wherever he goes back and forth across the formation until the play clock winds out and the Titans are forced to call a timeout uh, to avoid a delay of game penalty backed up near their own goal line. So just keep your eye. Here goes Garrett across that side of the field. Two tight ends following him. Three seconds on the play clock. Garrett's going to go to the other side. The two tight ends following him. And we're at zeros. Titans have to call timeout. Garrett claps. 
Garrett said after the game that he was going to keep going back and forth until they stopped following him or until they ran out of time. And um, they come out of the timeout that they call there and put those two tight ends on the field again here to help protect Tannehill on this third and long play. Except the tight ends are over here and Miles Garrett's over here. Titans said, okay, we're going to not follow him back and forth across the field because that's just crazy. But they don't even line him up where Garrett is initially. So Garrett is going to be, again, one-on-one -on -one with Andre Dillard. Now, when the Titans did use an extra blocker or two to chip or double-team Miles Garrett throughout this game, they had success. They were the, the few times they were able to complete the ball down the field were because they were double-teaming Miles Garrett. So why, on this crucial third down play, early in the fourth quarter, backed up near your own end zone, why the Titans don't at least have one guy over here to help with Miles Garrett is uh, is beyond me. Baffling decision. But so Garrett gets again the one on one matchup with Andre Dillard. Blows by him with the same move he's been using all game long. Just chopping down the initial punch. Bang. And then dipping that shoulder and bending the corner. Dillard cannot keep Garrett from getting to the quarterback and Tannehill, if it wasn't for Zadarius Smith coming up the middle and beating Aaron Brewer, then this probably would have been a safety because he doesn't even feel Garrett coming from behind. But Tannehill is able to duck out of Zadarius Smith and get forward out of the end zone, narrowly avoiding a safety as Garrett brings him down from behind. One more time, we'll look at it from this side because we can't get enough of watching the Titans fail, right? Those two tight ends that the Titans had in as extra blockers? Oh yeah, they're really useful over here blocking nobody. Meanwhile, Garrett comes around the edge here, abusing Andre Dillard, and taking down Tannehill. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, be sure to subscribe to the channel, give this video a like, and turn on notifications so you get an alert every time we drop a new video.